Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you a tutorial on this look. I've already gone ahead and practiced the look on this eye so that I can show you on this side. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. And if you'd like to know how I did my base, then please go watch my previous video. I have done a get ready with me for my Sunday with Deb and that's where I show you exactly what I did and I'm literally using the exact same products. Uh, for my eyes, today I used this uh, eyeshadow palette from crown this is what it looks like and I'm going to dip into this shade right here so I'm taking a flat brush this is the pack 289 brush and I am dipping my brush in there and I'm just going to start patting that color all over my lid Don't worry about blending right now what we are doing is just packing the color on and I'm also going to slowly start creating that nice winged out shape for that first I'm going to fill the lower lash line see right now I'm going to start pulling it outwards okay so I'm going to look straight into my mirror and then do that if you want, you can just take a little bit of concealer. This is from Sugar. And what you can do is take any flat brush and use that to kind of guide you with your winged liner shape. You know, if you're not comfortable doing it on your own, you can just stencil it out like this, you know. See? So now we know exactly where to put the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to bring it out and then I'm gonna bring it right back into my eyes. I'm also looking straight down so that I know where my lid like touches onto the crease so that that could be like the top point of my eyeshadow so I think we are almost done with the eyeshadow application what I'm going to do is just take the same brush right it has a fluffy edge so I'm just going to use that to kind of blend just the outside or you can always go ahead and take another brush and do this so once you have your shape in okay so i've just gone ahead and used a little bit of the blending sponge to kind of clean out the edges and also clean it out from the top like so we have the perfect shape now it's time to kind of add a little bit more color and then get to blending just intensifying the color and then I am going to take a fluffy brush. This is from NYX. This is the number 17 brush. You can take any fluffy brush that you have. And now I'm just going to go ahead and blend the edges like so. Don't forget the lower lash line. Okay, so now that we're done with the blending, what I'm going to do is take this black eyeshadow right here and take that onto a smaller brush. This is the pack 106 brush. Just a little bit of that black and what we're going to do with the black is um, intensify just the outer corner. Don't worry about any fallout as, as of now. We're going to clean it all up later. So it's just concentrating on the outer corner right here on the uh, wing and also on the lower lash line now the key to this is do not use a heavy hand okay so like be very very gentle 
very slightly you know touch the brush and that gives you this beautiful seamless blend and the reason why I'm adding a little bit of black is to give it that depth you know we're only going to use three eyeshadows so just and that's it you know black is a very intense color I'm just gonna touch up the black in this eye now going back with the same flat brush that we applied the purple I'm going to use that to blend the black in with the purple so it kind of looks very seamless it gives the illusion of a darker purple on the outer corner and then taking the same fluffy brush we're gonna go ahead and blend everything in till it looks absolutely seamless I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer onto the back of my hand press the sponge on it and then just gently press it underneath my eyes and use that to create that winged liner back in shape you know and this is also going to brighten your under eyes just using that to create that lifted shape see what a clean edge you have now don't forget to set that concealer that we just applied with some powder any loose powder will do the trick right and once that's done I am going to apply a little bit of green onto the inner corner right here like so this is the Huda Beauty uh, neon palette you can use any green that you have and I'm gonna slowly build the intensity now I'm gonna apply blue eyeliner to my waterline this is the Lakme gelato collection in the shade Lagoon I feel like the blue gives such a nice contrast to the purples and the greens in the look can't believe I'm talking while I'm applying kajal I'm going to curl my lashes I am going to apply two generous coats of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara if you want you can go ahead and wear false lashes I'm not going to wear any false lashes for this look. I kind of like the mascara look with this. For my lips, I'm going to use this shade from MAC. This is called Craving. Starting from the center, I'm just going to blend it out like that. So that gives it a very lived-in stain. And the color is more intense in the center and then you can gradually build up the color you know like this if you're worried about what you want to do with this lipstick on your finger you can just take a little bit and use it as a blush just okay so for highlighter I used this uh, makeup revolution highlight I think it's a blush palette I don't know why it's called a blush palette but this is the shade that I used to kind of highlight all over my face and body like here see so when I move it looks really nice can't believe I just danced on camera so yeah I just like generously applied the highlighter all over and uh, this is it this is the finished look i really really hope that you guys like this look and i would love for you guys to recreate this if you do then please don't forget to put up a picture on instagram and please tag me don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i will see you very soon bye